Hello, this is Joel Lindstrom, and I'm here with another Power Platform Answer. In today's question, Ariel asks about charting many-to-many -many relationships. Ariel has a three-entity solution that has a project entity, a consultant entity, and a middle joiner entity called Project Consultant. This is what we call a manual many-to-many -many relationship. And I've just charted this out here because I think it's helpful to look at it this way. Now, I should distinguish this between the out-of-the-box many-to-many relationships. If this is out-of-the-box, we would have a direct line between project and consultant. But the fact that um, the fact that you probably want to store additional details about the project, the, the consultant's relationship with the project indicates we create it this way, which is basically create a middle entity that is a lookup to project and a lookup to consultant. Very common design pattern and something that works really well for more complex relationships since the out of the box many to many only supports, uh, doesn't support any additional fields other than the relationship. So with that in mind, how would we do a chart on this? Because what happens if we try and build a chart from the project entity is projects uh, are the parent of the project consultants. So you can't graph uh, from a view of projects, you can't graph a view of project consultants. Same thing from consultants. You can't create a graph that has project fields on it because they're not stored on the contact. So here's kind of what that would look like then. Inside your, your, and your solution, and I've created uh, kind of a prototype of this. We have contacts, projects, and project consultants. What I would do is instead of building it at the project level, let's build it at the project consultant level. And so the reason we could do that is because we can have fields from both contact and project in a view. And that's the thing is you have to be able to get it in a view because if you don't have it in a view, then you're not going to be able to chart it because charts in model-driven apps and common data service are based on views. If we were to build a chart from project consultant, since we have both project and we have consultant in the view, uh, we can go new and in the in what you posted, you said you want to see the number of projects by consultant. So we should be able to build that chart here. All right, so for a category, uh, you'll see here we can pick any of these fields. We can choose contact. So that's going to give us our contact on the bottom. And then uh, for this, let's choose project. That's going to give us the project and the count. So this is going to give us the consultants and the number of projects per consultant. We could do it the other way around from here as well. Uh, and now one thing to mention is you can now use this chart with views that don't have those fields on them. And so this lets us have a lot of flexibility with this and we could then put this on a dashboard so we can easily see the number of consultants, uh, number of projects by consultant. So I hope that answered your question. To summarize, uh, what we wanna do is we want to build that not from the contacts, not from the project, but at the joiner level and then make a view that includes fields from all the related entities we want to include in our chart, and then build the chart just like you would any other chart. This is Joel Lindstrom. Thanks for your question. I'll see you in the forums.